Hi there guys, um, today I'm going to fulfill your most requested thing. And by that I mean I'm finally bringing you the wardrobe tour that I've been promising for a... a, a oh my god, if you keep... If you hear a bell, it's my cat, okay? She's in insanity mode. I've been receiving lots of good suggestions for videos. This one was definitely requested more often than anything else. So I'm finally bringing it to you finally. Yeah, before I start, I feel like I need to say I've watched a lot of other wardrobe or closet tours on YouTube and I've noticed there's been a lot of negativity in the comments. So as much as I don't like disclaimers, I'm going to do one. So here we go. Disclaimer. First of all, I'm definitely not making this video to be gloaty or to show off. Secondly, like I said, it's a viewer request and if I didn't give my lovely viewers what they want, then, then that would be really not of me. Lastly, please don't for a minute think that I'm wealthy. I'm definitely not. Anyway, with that out of the way now, the first time in my life I've had like a walk-in wardrobe type affair. Because the apartment in which we live is actually pretty small, um, but the landlord was like, oh yeah, it's it's and it's got a dressing room. Oh! So this wardrobe is shared by Mr. Owl and myself. We keep all our stuff in there together, all just kind of jumbled up together. And I haven't actually bought, like, normal clothes since about a thousand years ago. I never. So everything that we have is kind of relevant. You may also notice that the quality of this video from here on is a lot better than all my others. And the reason for this is I tested out a small handheld camera um, earlier on, but it was just blackness. The camera couldn't cope with all the black and you could see nothing. <laughs> so for this one I'm having to bust out my fancy cinema camera. Hope it's worth it. Anyway, I expect you want me to shut up now and just get on with it, so let's do that, shall we? Um, without further ado, let's go inside. This is what it looks like when you walk in. I would like to pretend that there's some sort of order that everything's in, but it's not. It's just... I hope you can see this all right. It's just all over the place, really. A real variety of stuff hung up along here. Um, you know, frilly shirts, um, skirts, frilly tops, jackets, uh, more jackets. Dresses, tops, trousers. Ugh. I'll go through them all uh, a bit better in a moment. Up the top here, I have hats. These two tricorn hats. Ugh. These two mini tricorn hats are ones that I made ages ago. There's my favourite ship hat, which you might have seen in my closet confidential tag. Um, I have a top hat, which Mr. Al wears. I've had that for years, but I've never really worn it myself. A tricorn hat. In the foreground there is a parasol. And um, there's a veil <laughs> back there as well. And up here, scarves. Uh, there are a few sort of pretty coats hung up. A big bullet belt, of which I'm very fond. It's pretty cool. And um, a big, thick, shiny belt that I got for a dollar which I wear heaps. And further along here, again, more skirts and more jackets and stuffed right at the back over the far side over there are hoop petticoats and some Lolita dresses <laughs> and somewhere a Lolita just screamed silently. Here we have all our belts all hung up nice and neatly as you can see. This one's my favourite belt because I guess it's the most, well, it's the most interesting <laughs> looking one, I guess. This thing... <laughs> I'm a big fan of using that sort of cheap chain lingerie that you find on eBay as, as an accessory. So this is what um, that is. This is a box of spiky accessories. Um, I may go through this in more detail in another video if you would like. I guess we've got quite a few things between us. Probably too many, really. 
Um, and this little box over here. Eh, gloves. This box is full of gloves, fishnet gloves and lace gloves and leather gloves and so on. Moving down, this shelf is entirely full of PVC cinches. Just three, three PVC cinches. Moving down again, this shelf is leggings. Uh, these leggings, I have, I believe, three pairs of identical leggings with chains on because they don't last very long. I've got two pairs of velvet leggings. I've got leather leggings. And somewhere back here, I've got print leggings. Below that, sorry if it's getting a bit hard to see, down here near the floor is mostly scarves and um, cravats. Lots of lacy cravats, always um, very useful. And that cool thing in the front there is um, a belt from Restyle. Down the very bottom I keep shorts and mini skirts. Pleather shorts and velvet shorts. Blah, blah, blah. Below the belt blah, is one of my coffin bags. I've gone through a few of these. They don't last very long, unfortunately. Pretty cool though, right? First shelf over here, I just have warm jerseys. Moving down is um, trousers belonging to Mr. Owl, lots of black jeans. Um, and down the bottom, although you probably can't see, these are bloomers and um, petticoats. Tucked down here in this wee corner, uh, Mr. Owl has a collection of canes, which are pretty cool. Yeah. Underneath those belts is Mr. Owl's jewellery box. And also some rings. I have a wee bit of jewellery on display. Um, Owl skull pendant you've seen. This one is just broken unfortunately. I ought to fix it. I loathe tiaras but I have this one because it's made of clock hands. It's pretty cool. Uh, and in the back there you can see I have a big, <laughs> a pile of hair extensions squashed into a box. On the shelf below is just where Mr. Owl keeps his um, tops and socks and that sort of thing. In these shelves I have rather unceremoniously stuffed all my tops in the top two. Um, just plain black plain black tops and printed tops. Um, the bottom two are, well the second from the bottom one is full of underwear and the bottommost one is entirely full of black stockings and socks. Over here are all our boots. May I just say first of all that I hate the fact that this shelf is blue. It came with the apartment so we're sort of stuck with it really. Anyway, I have um, these PVC Demonia Trashville boots, which I wear quite often. As you can see, they're not very clean, but I wear them heaps and I love them. Fairy ones in the middle are Demonia as well, and I wanted them for a very long time, but they're four and a half inches, and I didn't know if I wanted to feel that tall, but eventually I was like, screw it, I'm getting the fluffy boots. And I love these boots, they're so brilliant, and I'm looking forward to wearing them in the winter time. Now I just turned these ones around so that you could see them from behind, because they're sort of interesting from all angles. These are my, like, mm, everyday kind of boots, because I like to have a sort of plain-ish pair of um, zip-up boots, and they're pretty cool, little dangly doodads on them. These ones are pretty cool, I got these for Mr. Owl. Um, for Christmas, they're the Demonia Winkle Picker kind of, <laughs> kind of boots. I'll take them out and show you. They're pretty cool. These are my underground brand boots that I bought in London years ago, and um, they don't have a zip up the sides. They take a very long time to get on and off because they have they lace up and strap up. These are Mr. Rowell's boots as well. Um, unfortunately, they're kind of. <laughs> squashed a little bit into the shelf but and as you can see they're very old i think he's had them for a very long time i think they've lasted well and they're very cool too this very dusty pair is just a little one a little pair given to me by a friend and over there is just um some sort of ankle boots that are a bit too the heel is a bit too steep for me so i don't really wear those i have my little pointy boots that i wear a lot and some victorian granny boots that I recently purchased off a friend 
and I love them so much. They're so cool. I always wanted a pair. And just sort of normal shoes um, of Mr. Isles and um, an extremely old, very munted pair of um, pulp boots. But yeah, I'll do um, another video um, dedicated to showcasing my shoes and boots collection <laughs> pretty soon. Corner over here, I have a full length mirror, of which I am very fond. Oh look, look, look at you. Hi, hi. Yeah, well, so I'll show you a few of the things that are hung up and stuff that's in the drawers. Um, I'm going to do another video where and I'll actually uh, I'll model some of these things for you, I guess, <laughs> to sort of showcase them a bit better. Hmm, how about we start with one of the weirdest things, which... And one of the only things in this whole room which isn't blank, which is my kimono. Well, it's kind of a kimono, don't you think? It's, um, I really like it because it looks like it's burnt on one side. And, very cool. Uh, I really like stuff that's raggedly. <laughs> a long time, very old favourite. Um, this giant, giant skirt. I wear it with a, a giant hoop skirt underneath and it's impressive as fuck. Speaking of hoop skirts, I've got a couple of these sort of big frilly, almost lolita kind of skirts which you put a hoop petticoat underneath and they just look very very cute. I've got this dress which is lovely, it's laced up at the back and has a lovely bustle and lace in places, um, but I don't really wear this one very often because it's a bit too tight across the chest and um, a bit of squishing happens. It's a rather lovely blazer. Um, it's some, it's made of very beautiful material, um, but <laughs> again, it's got the problem of having a high waist, so I don't wear that one very often. This little this is a little top from Faze, which is a very stretchy, off the shoulder lace top which goes with just about everything. More things here that you saw in my Closet Confidential tag video, so I guess you could watch that as well if you like. And um, here's a faux fur jacket with a hood. I kind of wish it didn't have the hood, but it's very, very warm. It's very beautiful top from Punk Rave, which has big, woofy, has big fancy sleeves. And this dress from Jawbreaker. I only sort of recently decided that I, I liked um, prints on things. I really couldn't say no to this one. It's got cats on it. Evil cats. Got another fancy skirt. This one's um, this one's from Spin Doctor. Lots of bustly goodness there. Again with the raggedliness. So this is the most fucked thing I have. In fact, it's mostly just seems to be made of bits of string and this is undeniably the most difficult garment to get on and off that I have ever seen. This is a pair of trousers I bought for Mr. Owl to wear. Uh, they're pretty flash. They were just so sexy. Look at all this fancy spiky meshy detail. This is a rubber top belonging to Mr. Owl. <laughs> it could do with a bit of a clean I think. Rubber needs a lot of maintenance but it's so Listen to the noise that thing makes. Moving over here, I'll try and be as quick as possible. This coat, you can see, is completely amazing. It's velvet with some very cool detail on the front there, and I love it. Mr. Al wears it, I don't look good at it. This is a frock coat I've had for a very long time. It's very cool. I wore it a lot while I was going through my Codona phase. Another bustle skirt. This one's very old. It's um, it's from Fan Plus Friend. It has lasted extremely well considering how many bajillions of times I've worn it. Now this is one of the coolest things I think I have. It's a kind of cage corset skirt thing. It's got chains at the back studs at the front and if you can see that is like a like a bit of a cage. Uh, here I have this skirt which is really quite impressive I think. 
um, with these uh, buckles at the front and it's long at the back and short at the front and it's just a stunning skirt. We'll have a look at some of the stuff that's um, in my drawers. Um, I'll, I'll just show you the more interesting things. Again I'm going to do another video on like wardrobe staples so keep looking out for that. I've got this chunky long sleeved fishnet top these are not expensive and they're extremely versatile. Got a normal fishnet top. Ah, you can wear these with just about everything. This is the only top I've ever customised. It's, as you can see, it has a back skeleton and um, the back is all torn up. And um, if you want to learn how to do this, I'll show you uh, at another time. This is a tank top from Seven Deadly and I <laughs> It doesn't really fit, it's a bit too small for me unfortunately, but it, <laughs> I try and squeeze into it anyway because I just love the picture on the front. This I love, this is like evil barn owl <laughs> top from Wolfpack Clothing Company. And everything else is mostly just plain black tops, plain black tops of different kinds and different styles for different purposes. Oh, there's a few things I can't find that I was going to show you. Never mind. And lots of you have asked to see some of Mr. Al's clothing, so I'll just show you a few of like the tops he has that I personally like the best. I think this one has been around for a long time, this wonderful slinky fit loose thing. This one might be my absolute favourite. It's sh just a shiny black t-shirt. This black velvet um, long sleeve top for extra cuddle factor. And this one's very cool, it's very smart. It's a sort of piratey kind of ruffled long sleeved shirt. I'm very fond of it. <sighs> okay, it's getting quite hot in here, so I think that's about it from me with this video. Um, thank you very, very much for watching. Uh, do look out for the other videos that I mentioned. Um, please subscribe to my channel. I put out two new videos every week. And thanks again, and see you next time. Bye bye. <laughs>